Welcome back to our channel, Retired and Loving It. I'm Terry. And I'm Keith. And today, we're touring the Lisa Marie, which is Elvis Presley's private plane. I heard this is spectacular inside. I can't wait to get inside and just see and imagine how Elvis lived on this plane. Elvis knew how to stand out and there's no exception with his private jet. It's no secret that Elvis had a soft spot for private jets. We're gonna take a look at the Lisa Marie. As you step onto the Lisa Marie, you get to look into the cockpit. got to look at the bathroom in the front of the plane through the plexiglass and see the 24 karat gold faucets and sinks. Talk about luxury. Then we got to look into the closet through the plexiglass and see some of his jackets and boots. Elvis loved his TVs, and there was one in every section of this plane. We go into the lounge area. This plane had a capacity of 28 passengers. The plane was refurbished in Fort Worth, Texas. Elvis had some very specific design requirements. He wanted a seating area, a conference room, a private bedroom with space for an in-flight reading library. There was a bar, but we were told Elvis did not drink. He did not like the taste of alcohol. He preferred mountain spring water. This plane even had a conference room. It was beautiful. Elvis referred to the plane as the pride of Elvis Presley Airways, and he also called it my flying Graceland as he traveled across the U.S. on tour. The plane's name was Lisa Marie, but it was nicknamed the Hound Dog One. Then you stepped into Elvis's private bedroom suite with its custom queen size bed and pull out desk where Elvis would sit and read. Elvis was an avid reader. You'll notice the bed even had a seat belt, which was a requirement from the FAA. bedroom even had an executive ensuite bathroom in the back of the plane complete with 24 karat gold sink and tap and a hairstyling chair and dressing area. It was a bathroom fit for a king, the king of rock and roll. Seen snow. So off they went. Lisa played in the Colorado snow for a few minutes and then it was back on board for the flight home. Then all they had to do was 
Then the curtain and smooths until it is time to land. The next stop, no way. The queen size bed was designed specifically for this room on the Lise Marie. The seat belt on the bed is a standard FAA rule. To the left, notice the blue chair. In the wall is a full-out desk so Elvis could read in comfort. Elvis, you might not know, was an avid reader. The Lisa Marie is a former Delta Airlines Convair 880. The aircraft was delivered to Elvis in April 1975. He bought the aircraft for $250,000, which would be $1.2 million in today's money. And then he refurbished the plane for $600,000, which would be 2.9 million today. There's a lot of money sitting on the tarmac. Notice the TCB and the lightning bolt on the tail of the plane, taking care of business in a flash. so much for joining us on our tour of the Lisa Marie. How awesome, 24 karat gold faucets and sinks. I've never seen that. This airplane was amazing, the Lisa Marie. If you are in Memphis, Tennessee here at Graceland, make sure you go through this. You'll be amazed at the comfort and the luxury Elvis made of this Delta airplane. Guys, if you would, go ahead and press that subscribe button right down here. Give this video a big thumbs up and thank you for joining us on the Lisa Marie. We'll see you next time on Retired and, and Loving it. it. If you'd like to see more of our videos, click the video that just popped up on your screen 